Where's Bane? Where is he? Yes, it's part two of the 3D printed bat suit, supported by Ninja Tech, makers of Ninja Flex, Filament, Cheetah, and Armadillo, and I'm making this suit entirely from their products. In part one, we made the abs and the side panels here, and the chest, and all of these pieces are flexible, made of Cheetah, and we made the biceps, which are made of Armadillo, which is the rigid offering from Ninja Tech. So I think it's time that we did something on the shoulders and some of the other stuff to attach the cape. I made a small modification to the shoulder bells so that we've got some sort of way of strapping them on. So I've put a bit of a cavity in there with a bridge that goes across and we can put straps through there. And these are gonna again be printed in armadillo. So let's get those printed and see how they fit. Right, those have come out lovely and glossy again, so those will fit on there. We need some means of holding them on. In fact, I think they're gonna be fitted sort of slightly further out. So we've got something there, space to put a cape attachment on each shoulder. So they're gonna kind of hang off the shoulders like that. But we need to sort out the strapping and everything else. The current strapping system is very temporary, as you can see, with all of these ends and all of these clips just holding everything in place and not particularly well. So we need to make something to take all the straps that come from the front and fix those onto something at the back that probably fits on here with buckles and things that plug in. So I've made these simple plates which are going to be printed in Cheetah and I'm going to try and print those on the Morstruder because they want to be pretty tough but still flexible. And I've got strap holes here so that we can actually go and strap those things, the side, the abs and all of that stuff and over the shoulders into those places with buckles. Now I've left some holes in here because I think I might want some sort of shoulder plate armour which is probably going to fix on there, I don't know what it is yet. It's going to be under the cape anyway, but it would be quite good to have some shape in there rather than it just draping flat down my back. So we'll get that printed and hopefully get it strapped up. Okay, so here are my parts. I printed this one with a normal extruder with a 0.5mm nozzle and that's incredibly tough and this one was the one with a more extruder. Now it's a bit kinked because I had extreme difficulty getting it off the bed. So the Ninja Tech flexible stick really well to PI, so really you want to put some glue stick down to make it easier to get off to make a weaker bond. So it's a bit kinked but basically ah, it's really tough, it's just you know, that's never going to come to pieces, so it's going to be absolutely fine for my strapping. So that's going to take the two shoulder straps to those points, it's going to take the straps from the kidney parts to these points, and then I've got the extra little piece that will be on some sort of extension there with some 50mm webbing to take the straps from the lower kidney pieces. Before I can fix that down though, we need to do something about the shoulders, because I really want to fix these shoulder bells on here, so we need something around this strap and it's possible it's going to be on both sides of the strap which is going to lift it up so we need to get the lengths and everything correct so i'm going to design some shoulder things that hold the shoulder bells on and allow the strapping to go down to the bicep I put some glue stick on the bed this time so they're much easier to get off. This is again Cheetah with the more extruder. So they've come out pretty well. Look at that nice strap we've got there. So these points are going to bolt onto the shoulder strap. This thing goes underneath the uh, thing I put in there, which is a bit messy because it was printed on support. So it comes underneath and that leaves us two points there which can strap down to the bicep. So I've made another piece which has got the screw heads recessed into it and that fits underneath and I've put those screw holes slightly closer together because obviously it's going to be curved so on the inside those holes need to be closer together than the outside and the result is this and that allows me to run the strap in between the two there and that gives me a firm footing there to bolt that onto the strap and we can bolt the back cape holder onto the top. I'm just actually using some brass screws here to screw the pieces to the strap but we need to do something with these loose ends for these two pieces probably attaching them to here there was going to be another piece of strap, but I think I'm going to print a Ninja Flex thing that's got another possible strap thing on that can stretch around the back to 
hold it to my body to stop those flying away. I've added those triangles there which will allow me to pull the chest back to the strapping system and I've also added a patch there again printed in Cheetah on the Morstruder that just ties the chest plate together. So I think the spacing there is correct to the abs. So now I can get my shoulders fitted in the right place. All right, so I've temporarily added the uh, back piece there so I can just put this on for a moment and kind of balance it there to get the height correct. So I'm gonna have quite a big bat belt so I don't want the abs too low. I don't want the chest too low though, so I think that's about the right spacing. That feels like that's where my chest is. That, I can feel my belt buckle there, so space for quite a substantial bat belt. So now that means I've got my shoulder straps here and I can go and if I get the right shoulder bell, sort of position that and work out where those screw holes need to go to get the shoulders in the right place. So I'm gonna spend some time doing that and bolt them through and then we can work on the sides and putting the other straps around to hold the whole thing together. Right, I've bolted my shoulders on there and I've put those side pieces on and I've run all the straps around to buckles at the back here. So we've got some loose ends and things that need trimming. I'll eventually put a stitch in the webbing just to stop it slipping, but for now I've got enough buckles and these things undo so I can get into it. So it should mean that it's time to give it a go. All right, it seems to fit pretty well. It feels a bit like a corset at the moment, but uh, it seems to fit me okay. It feels pretty good. I think I can put load on those shoulders and um, if anything, it's front heavy. So hopefully that'll offset the weight of the cape. All my straps are done up. Obviously the biceps aren't on yet because there's nothing to fit them on. But I can uh, go and squeeze those in and they'll be fixed right under the uh, shoulder bell there. So it looks a bit less silly with those on. So there we go, and obviously big forearms. So the next thing is to get those cape attachments done. I do need to also put a strap in for these pieces. I need to do something about the middle there with another piece behind. But uh, yeah, that should be all right, and that should hold everything into the nice profile. So here's my shoulder piece. Of course, there'll be two of those, and I've made those on a slight curve. So those are gonna be printed on support material in Cheetah with a normal extruder, I think. So these bolt through onto the things I've got on the shoulders, which will grip the fabric through the bolt holes. But I've also got this piece on the back with holes to actually stitch to the fabric to uh, further strain relieve it and attach it on. So if I tread on my cape or someone else does, it doesn't just tear the front bolt out, it's actually got quite a lot of attachment there. So we need to print those in a normal extruder, which is gonna take a while. We'll need to print quite slow, and hopefully those will come out really well and we'll be able to get the cape on. Here they are, so these ones have been printed on support material, that one's still got the support on, and that one I've removed, which is what this is, which has come away easily enough, and it came off the bed easily enough because it's not actually a fat plate like the other parts, it's basically a grid, so um, that came off fine. So uh, there we go, we've got that curve on the bottom, we've got our bolt holes in the right place to go onto the shoulder. So I've just put the bolts through that are already there on those shoulders. I might need um, some slightly longer bolts, maybe just for that front one once the fabric is sandwiched in there to get the nuts on, but essentially that whole shoulder thing is bolted together and it's really padded on the strap and I've got these stitch points to attach the cape on the back. Right, this is my cape fabric that I showed you last time. This is a fabric called Scuba, which is quite heavy and it drapes really well and it's slightly stretchy and it's about 300 grams a square meter. And I bought a piece that's six foot across basically and a five foot drop. So I thought that would be more than enough for a bat cape. However, the problem is of course, that the corners are here in my hands. So as it drapes down, they end up around my waist. And I think those corners should touch the ground. So it should be about sort of 10 feet across really. And then we should probably cut a semicircle in the cape. So it's a nice kind of semicircular shape. And that means the other corners don't drag on the ground. And obviously it's bunched at the shoulders as well. That makes it even slightly shorter once we've done that. So I just don't want these weird corners here. So I'm gonna get a bigger piece of fabric before we permanently attach it, but we'll put this on and see how it looks. Right, so I've just basically made holes and put that fabric through. Eventually it will be draped back kind of like this on each side. So that fabric comes forward and obviously it will be sort of stitched onto here as well. So that should uh, 
mean it comes up and kind of comes off the shoulder there rather than these being massive flaps but there seems to be uh, quite a good way of fixing the cape on and it drapes pretty well so pretty happy with how that looks pretty happy with how it drapes but obviously yes these corners don't want to be here they want to be touching the ground so i'm going to get a bigger cape fabric and then we'll stitch them on permanently once I've got that. Last time I did some 3D printing on fabric with Cheetah straight onto fabric, which I put on the print bed. And this was the idea was to make panels that go underneath these pieces. So we haven't got all these gaps. Now there's been some other stuff in the week about 3D printing on fabric going around. So someone um, has done some 3D printing where they did a couple of layers of a rigid print, I think, then put some mesh fabric down, had a little Z hop, and then printed on top of that. So made really flexible things. So thanks to everyone who sent me the link, but don't send it anymore, thanks, I've seen it. Right, but what I want to do in fact is just make some simple panels. So although that's useful, I think I'm gonna use that in another cosplay perhaps. But for now, I just wanna put basically some nice hex pattern that goes under here and kind of panels that fit in. So that's what we're gonna do. I've drawn a slightly tighter hex pattern there and I've put some edges on as well. So the cutoff there is for under the arm and obviously the piece will be mirrored. And that means this is the middle and that will go under the middle of my ab plate and either side of the zip in the undersuit. So I'm gonna print this on fabric and eventually that'll be stitched to the undersuit. Right, here they are. So those have come out pretty well. Obviously we've got opposites there and those are gonna fit just under the armor. So those fit just under there, one on each side and there's a gap down the middle because this isn't actually the undersuit, it's a t-shirt and the undersuit does have a zip down the middle and that's why those pieces divide so I can stitch them on either side and then zip up the zip and then put the pieces with the strapping system on over the top. And as we work our way down the suit, I'll be putting more panels that fit on the undersuit, which go in various other places, like on the thighs there and the hips. So one thing I would like to change, where I've got this triangular panel I put on, I've just bungeed that back for now. I think I might put an actual piece in that gives a sort of corner to this chest piece, because this piece is sticking out a bit. But I think I need an actual piece so that it comes round but we'll see how that goes once I've sorted out the bicep strapping. But apart from that, I'm generally happy with the look and feel of the torso. So that's the end of part two. Next time we are gonna look at the arm strapping. We're also gonna try and make the forearms and look at the gloves. So we've got most of the upper body done. Thanks again to Ninja Tech for supporting the series and don't forget to check back next time. All right, that's all for now.